Hi guys, Alistair Taylor here, and today I'm going to look at the Lynx Black Cat Iron. Okay guys, so we're looking at the Lynx Black Cat. Now, blue badge in the back, but you can have blue or red on this one. So we've got a, still a fairly hefty top line, a little less offset, thinner sole, and we've got a slot, but we've got twin slot technology. So we can see one in here, and there's one in behind the badge as well. So I'm expecting this to be very forgiving. And we've got marriaging technology of the face. So I'm really looking forward to how this is gonna sound and feel, because this in theory should be quite different from anything I've hit in the past. But great looking club, lovely polished finish. And again, just looks something nice and powerful for any of you guys looking for a little bit extra distance out there. Okay guys, so we've had a close up on the head. We've talked about some of the technology in here. Um, now the slot is not into the pitching wedge and sandwich. So like with other manufacturers with slots in there, it's not really any of benefit when you're into that club. But we're gonna hit six iron in this one. Uh, I've got Dynalite shaft, so really top quality shaft. And this again, polished head, looks super behind the ball. We're going to hit six shots on flight scope, uh, normalised mode, so I think it's a degree or two degrees in Blackpool, so any of you watching, this is a fantastic day down here. But we're going to take the, uh, the weather out and we're going to see how it performs, but also give you some feedback on looks and feel. Now certainly with the way this is manufactured, I would imagine this is going to feel quite different. And I haven't hit any shots with this, so this is genuine response to this club. Oh, that feels like a bullet. Oh, very good. Very quick off the face. Very quick off the face. So, first one on flight still, pretty decent. So, we're going to keep going. Like I said, I think thicker top line. Not as thick as some of the Lynx products, um, a mid price point, but first reactions off those two shots, very, very nice, very nice. And again, it's a different noise as well. I know it's sometimes hard on my mic to pick up the sound, but it is a different noise. A nice noise, but not really sure how I'd describe it. I think quick is probably how I would just describe it. Okay, last couple for the Lynx Black Cat. Definitely, I mean, hitting six iron, a lot of my reviews are around seven iron, but Still getting it up in the air, hitting it a good distance. And load through, and let's go one last one. Give you some feedback. A little bit low off the face. But all in all, I mean, it felt forgiving as well. So that last one wasn't quite as good a strike. But let's look at some numbers on flight scope and see just how the Black Cat Iron from Lynx has performed. Okay guys, so if we look at the half dozen shots, 181 carry. So good length, not, you know, relatively speaking from clubs that I look at, I think, yeah, long, but not the longest I've tested, by no means the shortest I've tested. What was particularly impressive for me there though, is over a six shot spread, my shortest carry was 177, my longest was 183. So front to back is really, really good. Uh, good club head speed, nice light shaft for me, so I'm gonna get some speed there. Good spin. So my issue personally with a lot of these modern clubs is I don't generate enough spin because the lofts are a bit strong. Sit over 6,000 revs with a six iron, which is good for me. Launching at 18 degrees hitting it 107 foot off the floor. So some massively impressive numbers 
with that six cent. Okay then guys, we've looked at numbers, and like I said there, some very impressive numbers. Not hitting it miles, hitting it a good length. I mean, over 180 with a six iron is good for me, but not like a 200 yard six iron that's almost going too far. But what was nice with that is a good distance, hit it high and hit with the appropriate amount of spin for a six iron. So you're going to get good distance, but you're also going to be able to stop the ball on the green with a club like that. Now, look at the boxes it ticks. Does it look nice? Polished finish? Yeah. I think for a lot of guys that like that powerful looking club, that, that thicker top line, they, they'll love that. You know, that again is a very modern thing. For me personally, you know, ego always tells me I just want that slightly thinner top line. But I could learn to get used to something if it performs. So it looks good. Feels very, very fast off the face. Probably the only thing for me that was a little surprising is it maybe felt quicker off the face than the numbers I got. I don't have an issue with that because as long as it's consistent, which it was amazingly consistent on distance. I mean, I think it's a six yard gap from front to back. So Lynx Black Cat Iron. Looks good, feels good, performs well. Like I said, guys, mid price point. As with everything, get yourself fitted. If you're in the market for new irons, I say this all the time, try everything, but get it set up properly for you so you get to see the best benefit and the best results for you personally. So guys, thank you for watching. Appreciate you taking the time as ever. Like and share it if you have. If you don't already, subscribe to the channel. You can leave a comment as to why you haven't already subscribed. Uh, hopefully catch up with some of you guys down there in the future. Stay in contact.